Hey guys, this is Coffee Chuck, and what I'm doing here is I'm going to be sharing with you in this series a bunch of just little small nuanced tips for your programming when you're creating your robot for FLL or just for fun or hobby in your classroom. And this one is super short, sweet, and easy, one that I think is constantly overlooked, especially when you start building more complex programs, and it's simply just adding spaces in your programming. So here we are, just a, a regular canvas, which most of you are familiar with. And what I mean by spaces is typically when we drag in blocks, we line them up just like this, right? Like we just, it's just like a constant line of blocks. And with the spaces, what you're able to do is right in here, these connector pieces, where if you just go right in here and you double click, it creates a space. Now I know you're thinking, like, oh, pfft. Big deal. That's stupid. That's not very exciting. Well, this is really important for a couple of reasons. Number one, by by creating these these gaps um, or these spaces, it's going to allow you to group your programming blocks by task. And so some of you are going to start to get more complicated programming where you're going to maybe have a medium motor doing this and a sensor waiting to do that. With these spaces, you can start to organize how things operate. And you can start to create a better flow if you've got... A variety of different things going on and so the spaces help especially when you start to get into these types of, of activities here where you've got many projects or many ideas going on at once this leads to my second key point with spaces and having these lines it allows you to then do parallel programming where you have more than one thing happening at once the the, the third thing that's important with spacing because a lot of you are going well, maybe I'm not to that complex programming yet not a big deal, but what this will allow you to do, it allows you to easily organize and realign your projects. When these get all kind of confusing here, this is hard to see, especially when you get a lot of blocks in. So this allows you just to create some space, and then you can always go back, you know, and if I say I want to add something in here, it's just easier to do that. And the last little key tip with the key for adding spaces in your programming is this. It allows you to check proper connections. Now, I know the easy thing would be to say, well, look, it's not... It's not fully colored. That lets me know it's not connected. But as we build programs, and eight years is working in, in First Lego League, I know that nine times out of ten, the reason a program doesn't work is not because of some highly advanced coding thing that we can't do. It's because we've overlooked something very, very simple, where a cable hasn't been properly plugged into a sensor or motor. Or in this case, we have a block that isn't properly lined up. And so this just simply allows you to check to make sure that there's a wire. I can't tell you how many times by not checking this we have overlooked just a small little detail like that in our programming. So there's the first of, of, of many EV3 tips. This one is just simply the idea of using spaces in your programming blocks to help organize, sift, troubleshoot and make life easier guys let me know what you think let me know how else to use spaces maybe there's something i'm overlooking because i'm always willing to learn and until the next tip stay awesome and best of luck building those killer killer sweet looking robots